It's a G1 Ultra Magnets review. What's up, Mouseketeers? Mike Mouse 74 back, kind of, sort of, with a Transformers Generations 1 video review. This is Ultra Magnus. On the side of the box, it shows you Ultra Magnus in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. On the back of the box, it gives you a picture of the Transformers Generations 1. Here you see a picture of Metroplex, Trypticon, and down here you see G1 Ultra Magnus up here at the corner. It gives you a little brief bio of what Ultra Magnus is about. If you guys wish to read the bio of Ultra Magnus, you can pause the video now. On the top of the box, it just shows you the steps of Ultra Magnus. First, it starts out in truck mode, and then here it shows you how it changes into robot mode. And again, it shows you how it changes more in robot mode. And last, here he is in robot mode. And on the bottom of the box, it shows you Ultra Magnus in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. It also tells you what Ultra Magnus includes. Figure, laser weapon, two missile holders, four missiles, two cab connectors, two large fists, two small fists, large robot head, chest shield, and instruction sheet. I'm also going to be doing a comparison with G1 Optimus Prime. So enough about the package, let's finally get this guy open and see what he's all about. Alright, here we have G1 Ultra Magnus open out of the box and he looks fantastic. Before I do forget, you can order this guy on BigBadToyStore.com, I'll post a link down below. So he comes with a chest shield, not one, but two missile holders, comes with instruction sheet and a set of stickers and another bag of accessories. Just give me a few minutes. I'm gonna put the stickers on, then I'll come back and I'll show you what he looks like. All right, so about 15, 20 minutes later, after putting the stickers on, on the uh, chest guard itself, there's actually a couple of stickers that you need to put on, one here and one right there. On, uh, on Ultra Magnus, there's a couple of Autobot logo stickers that you need to put on on the side of the cab, one right there, one on the other side. There's a couple of stickers that you need to put on on the uh, lights on the front of the cab here, one right there and a couple of stickers on the back here and there and um, on the bottom one here and one right there and in a robot mode of uh, Ultra Magnus there's a couple of stickers that you need to put on here and right there as well but we'll get into that transformation just a little bit later on it's a really really simple transformation you cannot go wrong um, on the uh, on the truck part itself you put a sticker on either side here and on the other side right there and you put an Autobot logo just inside there, if you guys can see that or not. And to put the, uh, to put the cab together, there's actually a peg on the bottom of Ultra Magnus here. Just move the missiles out of the way. And on the bottom, there's actually a peg hole right there. This, this actually comes off. And all you really have to do is just kind of line it up. And it actually fits in there really, really nice. And with this, you can actually, hang on take this off you can actually put this on in here just that way you don't <laughs> you don't lose everything you just kind of set it in right there and just kind of snaps right in place and then just put this back on like I said just line it up and it fits really really nice and then the missile launchers all you have to do there's a peg on the back of the missile launchers and there's two pegs on either side here and there and all you have to do is grab one and plug that one in do the same thing with this one. Again, there's a peg hole here, and there's a peg on the, uh, on the front of Ultra Magnus, and stick it in just like that, and Ultra Magnus is all weaponized up. Looks pretty cool. Before I do forget, Ultra Magnus does have an Autobot logo rub on, and I really don't have to press all that hard because the lighting that I use, all you have to do is just hold your thumb on there for a couple of seconds, and it reveals an Autobot logo. Maybe <laughs> press a little bit harder and wait for a couple of seconds and it reveals the Autobot logo if you guys can see that or not so I just wanted to point that out to you guys for a comparison in vehicle mode with Ultra Magnus here he is with G1 Optimus Prime and they really look good together but that's just me 
So to go ahead and transform Ultimate Madness into robot mode, um, <laughs> it's been a while since I transformed this guy and I, <laughs> I absolutely forget. Uh, geez. Maybe you want to start with the, the head first, maybe? Uh, maybe the arms? Oh, uh, you know what, guys? <laughs> I feel like a total... Like a, oh, I just feel really embarrassed. If you guys know how to transform this guy, post your comments down below. I'm kidding. If you guys actually thought I did know how to transform this guy, <laughs> please post your comments down below. I am so curious. Um, what you want to do is really, really simple. And it's the same as the G1 Optimus Prime. You just want to bring the leg down, do the same thing with the other leg. Bring the leg down. His foot, bring the foot out. Do the same thing with, with his other foot. Bring the foot out. You have um, Ultra Magnus, his legs done. Bring the camera up just a little bit. Bring his arms out. Do the same thing with the other side. Bring the arm out. Bring the shoulder forward. Do the same thing with the other shoulder. Bring it forward. And lift the head up. And I put the fist inside there just for uh, safekeeping. That way I don't, I don't lose any. And then take the fist. Plug the fist in, in one side like that. Do the same thing with the other fist. Take the fist and you plug this one in on that side take the handgun and you plug it in just like that and here you have ultra magnus in his robot mode pretty cool looking figure now let's take a quick close-up of ultra magnus and that way you guys can see how cool he is For comparison in robot mode with Ultra Magnus, here he is next to G1 Optimus Prime and these guys look awesome together. Now it's time to combine Ultra Magnus with the trailer. Alright, to get Ultra Magnus ready for combination mode, again, I just took the fist off and put him inside the cab uh, for my sake, that way I don't lose any. Um, all you really want to do is just fold the, uh, fold the shoulders back, do the same thing with this side, fold the shoulder back, put the arms in like this. Do the same thing with the other side, bring the arm in like that. With the feet, all you want to do is bring the toes down like this, bring the other toe down like that, and you pretty much have them ready for combination mode. To transform the trailer for combination mode, again, it's really, really simple. You just want to come back here and then just move these out of the way, just do the same thing with the other side. And then this, you want to bring the leg up like that and click it in. Do the same thing with this side, bring this up and then click it in. These here, bring the camera up so you guys can see what I'm doing. These here you want to separate and then separate right here. And then bring these all the way to the side. These will click in. There's a peg right inside there and there's a peg. Um, there's actually a peg hole right here. You just want to peg these guys together like that. Do the same thing with the other side. Peg this in, bring your arms up like that. Do the same thing with the other side. Bring the arm all the way up. And then you want to grab the uh, the chest plate and put that on. Snap that on there. And then this white thing, you want to, there's two pegs or peg holes on each side here and there. And there's two pegs here and there. And that really just goes on just like that. For the two large fists of Ultra Magnus, just make sure you grab the right ones. Um, there's a peg hole on the back of the fist here, and then there's a peg right there on each side here, and one right there. You want to grab the fist, and you plug it in just like that. Do the same thing with the other one again. There's a peg hole on the back of the fist, and there's a peg right there. Grab the fist, and you just plug that in. <laughs> ah, plug that in there just like that. And then you take the the weapon and you plug that in Ultra Bandits' fist like that. So to combine Ultra Bandits with the back of the trailer, there's a couple of pegs, one right there and one right there. And on Ultra Bandits, there's a couple of peg holes for the uh, lights are actually right here and one right there. And you want to line it up just right. That way it'll fit. <laughs> Let's 
just like that, just make sure everything's lined up nice, just push the legs down a bit. And that's pretty much how you want to combine ultra magnets to the back of the trailer like that. And finally for the large robot head, what you want to do is just grab the head and place it on top of ultra magnets like that and there you have it. And for the missile launcher for ultra magnets really, all you have to do is grab the missile, there's a peggle on each side of the arm right here and there's a peg on the side of the missile launcher, plug one in. <laughs> Yeah, it does fire out. <laughs> huh. and, yeah, and take the other one and you plug it in <laughs> just like so. Maybe just kind of straighten out a little bit. And there you have Ultra Magnus in his awesome looking robot mode. Now it's time to take a close look at Ultra Magnus in his combination mode and see how awesome he is. For a comparison in robot mode with Ultra Magnus, here he is next to G1 Metroplex. These guys look good together. Alright, now it's time to get this guy back into his vehicle mode. First what you want to do with Ultra Magnus, just uh, really tuck the head in, just bring everything all out, <laughs> and there goes the fist, and <laughs> there goes the other one. Just put the fist in here just for a keepsake, just tuck the head in like this, and then bring the shoulders back. Bring the arms in like like so. Do the same thing with this side. And then with the uh, legs, you want to bring the legs all the way up like that. Do the same thing with the other leg. Bring it all the way up. And here you have Ultra Magnus back into his truck mode. So for the actual armor of Ultra Magnus, to put that back in trailer mode, it's fairly simple. There's a couple of white things, one in the front, and there's also one on the back. I'm going to keep them both there, that way I don't lose any. This is actually the hitch when you want to put uh, Ultra Magnus back. And the, uh, the chest guard, I'm going to keep there as well, just so I don't, I don't lose anything. You want to rotate the arm down, and then bring it straight down like that. Do the same thing with the other side. Bring the arm straight down, and then bring this all the way down. And just kind of bring it back a little bit, just kind of out of the way. And then you want to bring the the, uh, the legs out like that. And then you want to flip this white piece out like this. Do the same thing with the other side. Bring it out like that. And then this white piece, you want to flip that out like that. And then with the, uh, the arms, you just want to bring the arms <laughs> out like this. Kind of straighten everything all out. Just kind of rest on these little white things. Do the same thing with this side. You want to bring this all the way up. And then kind of bring it down and then these actually peg together there's a peg right here you just kind of peg this one together like that do the same thing let's bring the camera up a little bit do the same thing with this side there's a there's a the peg here and a peg hole on the other side just a, just peg them together like that and bring the camera down a little bit and here you have the, uh, the armor back into trailer mode Pretty simple transformation. A few more things you can actually do, which I almost forgot to do. You just take Ultra Magnus and you kind of line it up just right. And it should line it up and just kind of hook that in there like that. And you can actually take the missile launchers. And again, like I showed you in the beginning, there's a couple of pegs here, one right there, a couple of peg holes on the back of each of the missile launchers. You can plug one in on the other side like that. Take the other one and plug it in on the other side like that and here you have Ultra Magnus back into his truck mode very very cool figure and again a simple transformation so this is Mike Mouse 74 with my video review of Transformers G1 Ultra Magnus this guy is great to have it's been a while since I did a review but I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate subscribe support the mouse support your Transformers community stay tuned for more reviews more updates and plenty more to come I want to thank everybody for watching and as always guys take care everybody